why were you, like, you were terrified of what happening? I, I was terrified. Uh, I didn't know what you would do. Would you kill yourself? Would you, I didn't know what you would do at eight when, when you kind of woke up. Because look, you didn't have a boyfriend that I knew of. And you always talked about to me about, am I going to find a boyfriend? Am I going to find somebody? And I knew that the way you were approaching the whole boyfriend thing was not a realistic way. And so you didn't have a boyfriend as far as I could tell. Let's say you did not have a steady partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You did not have a steady partner and any partner really at any point. And that to me was one issue that I was worried about spiraling. What's going to happen? You're going to wake up and say, wait a minute, I'm four years old. I had, don't have a partner. I haven't had a partner. Um, and so that was one terror. It's pretty hard to go through life without having somebody that you're very close to. So that was one aspect. The second one, your career was extremely important to you and film was everything. And I knew, and we both knew that there wasn't progress being made. And then you would have an idea and you would sort of start on it and it wouldn't get finished. Um, so there was that aspect. So we have, we have partner, we have career, and then we have bulimia. So then you struggled with bulimia for all that period of time, and um, you really worked incredibly hard to try to deal with the issue of bulimia. You tried thing after thing after thing, and there was there was and we knew together we knew there wasn't much out there as a program that was realistic. In some sense, it seems like, and I don't know what it's like today, like the dark ages of mental health and bulimia, and less so anorexic that had been more developed in terms of treatment, but bulimia was still heavily and may still be in the closet.